Well, good morning and thanks for being with us today. County workers will start cleaning up what you're looking at right now. This is on Sarasota County beaches covered with dead fish. There are eels, just a ton of marine life, and we're talking about fish by the thousands on the entire stretch of one of America's most beautiful beaches, Siesta Key Beach. And the county is bringing in heavy equipment to help clean up those beaches. Brightside's Emerald Morrow is down there right now for us, Emerald. Just a disgusting sight, and I, I can't imagine the smell that you've been dealing with throughout the morning. Uh, yeah, Rob, it's, it's pretty stinky out here and it's just a mess. Really, as far as you can see, there are just nothing but dead fish, even some eel that are out here that are dead. Let me get to one that's closer right here. You can see uh, it's really just not a place that you want to be if you're planning a beach day. This is not the beach to come to, nor is this the day. But let me give you a better look at some of the video that we have so that you can actually see how much of a mess it is out here. Um, the water is very, very murky and it's really lacking that beautiful blue and green that we're used to seeing at Siesta Key. And that's what really makes this area just so beautiful. Now, experts say they believe that elevated levels of red tide are to blame for all of the dead fish and locals and tourists alike say this is really messing with that lovely beach experience that we all come here for. This is the worst it's been. It's uh, by far. You're seeing it worse than you have in 10 years. Never seen anything like this. And it's just killing off the fish, killing off everything. It's terrible for the wildlife and it makes the beaches unusable for us. Yeah, absolutely unusable. I mean, this is not the day you want to come out here. You know, as beautiful as the sky looks, as beautiful as the water is, these dead fish are really going to get in the way of any type of beach experience that you have. So again, uh, crews are going to be out here today and what they're going to be doing is taking the time to assess and see if they actually need to bring out some big equipment to get all of these fish up and out of the way so that eventually you guys can come back out and enjoy again what is one of the most beautiful beaches in America. Back to you. All right, Emerald. Yeah, constantly rated by Dr. Beach and TripAdvisor, one of the best in the entire country. Uh, Grant, I'm glad she's not wearing sandals down yeah. there today. Yeah, I with mean, all just... the, the, the dead marine life, you hate to see it. Yeah, you, you really do. It's it, disgusting. It, it really is, is awful. And you, we just hope that the red tide begins to subside as we head into you know August and then into September as well. But look at this. This is the latest red tide report from FWC. Sarasota County South. It is just a ton of those algae blooms, which releases toxins into the water, into the air as well, which is why if you're down in those areas, you may have some respiratory issues, maybe some itchy eyes. But here's the thing that's really important. FWC could use your help to, to get the reports of what you're seeing in your area. If you're out on the water, if you're going to the beach, download the FWC reporter app. I did this this morning. You can report fish kills, stranded animals, and you can also send photos and videos it will take your location of where you are. You type in your name, your telephone number, and your email if you'd like, and then you can help with those reports to where they're seeing the red tide issues. We need all the help to, so we can better just get a grasp on how widespread the red tide is. If you're going to the beach today, just keep in mind of that red tide concern through Sarasota County Point South, but around the immediate Bay Area through St. Pete Beach and Points North, you're going to be seeing at least a chance for some scattered showers and storms. So if it's not the red tide, it's the chance for some storms today. 60%, especially through the afternoon and evening time frame. Otherwise, high temperatures today will be in the middle and upper 80s.